number four, our trailer is froze up again. I've been trying to get a hold of somebody here for a good long while. Can't get him. It's going straight to voicemail. So we're going to go inside the TA here in a minute. Oh, there's. Yes, sir. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is morning. Is it morning? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 11.04. 12.04 cent, uh, 12.04 Eastern time. We gotta go to Danville, Kentucky, pick up a load. We went to take off early this morning, but we had trailer issues. I thought it was frozen, but it wasn't frozen. It's that, I, I don't know if it was frozen before or not, but um, it was uh, broken, it was busted. It's like a valve that the uh, air goes to, you know, and where you you got to pull the, the, the knob in order for your pins to pull in so you can slide your axle, but that was broken. I'm beginning to wonder if it wasn't broken before. I don't know. But it's fixed now anyway. Woo, the sun is bright. Oh, this is bright. But we're 118 miles to Danville. We gotta go pick up this load. Winding road ahead. The truck did get a good thaw. It was inside that building, inside the TA shop. Parking run. 
on in. On the left side, Love's Country Store. Warning, weight violation ahead. You know, they say we have a shortage of trucks, but I can almost prove the fact that we don't because these fuel islands are getting fuller and fuller. my fuel in because my bill is saying 43,000 but before I put my fuel in I want to make sure my weight first it's only going to Bolingbrook so I don't have to fill up still got some parking here Alright. 
Okay, I want six sliders with cheese. Yeah. Yes, you do. You got the regular cheeseburgers, right? Where I come from, they're called sliders, man. Okay, but I'm sorry. Two bites and they're gone. Alright, so how many regular cheeseburgers? I want uh, six of them. Alright. Two's got to be plain. You can have the cheese on them, but don't put no ketchup or onion okay, or none so. of that. Where's your window washer? What's it? Your win oh, the, uh, window washer? Your window washer is outside on the Oh, can I just pay for it and then grab it on my way out? I have the barcode during it. I can go get one for you. Oh, I can go get it. I just... I'm waiting for my hamburger, so I thought I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we? Oh my gosh! Violation ahead. Well, both the Flying J and the pilot, or Flying J and the Loves, are both out of a uh, windshield fluid. Windshield wash. Huh. This is gonna be fun. I'm not kidding. They're sold out. Hopefully it doesn't get too, it's just the melting and the splashing. I'll stop somewhere probably in Indiana and see if I can get some. But you ain't buying it here. Waddy is out of windshield wash. Well, I know we're in the dirt. We're in the dirt. A little better? We made it to our delivery. We're in Bolingbrook. We're going to go in check in here in a minute. We got to go right into that door over there. Yes, <laughs> we made it, didn't we, guys? We sure did. We sure did. Jake, I gotta go in, buddy. Check them out, man. They get excited. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go in and check in. So come on in. Let's go check this place out. We'll be right back. it is the next day we offloaded yesterday uh, just down the road and uh, we're at this uh, auto truck stop 55 auto truck stop it's here in East Chicago I don't know if you do have to pay to park here it's 12 bucks but uh, it was the it's the closest truck stop where I was from where I was and uh, lots of room though I mean, if you're going to pay at a Flying J or at a TA or whatever for the parking, it doesn't matter if you're going to pay 12 bucks at a regular truck stop, right? But, uh, it was after midnight when I got here. Lots of parking. You can actually park here. And, uh, no worries. But we're getting ready to go. we got to go to University Park, pick up a load at 5 o'clock. We're going to be there an hour before. And But before we do that, we got to go to a Blue Beacon there in Maumeen you guys been there with me before and we're gonna have our trailer washed out and then I got to put reefer fuel in the reefer and uh, and I got to get me a gallon of uh, wash for my window so anyway we're gonna go ahead and close out this day and uh, and show you what's coming up on the next video thank you for watching and we'll talk to you on the next one until then, later.